Alright, hello and welcome to Fragmentum. This is a quick uh, tutorial on um, just the game basics. So the game has two major components. There are the traditional RTS uh, skirmishes and there is unit design. We're going to start with unit design. Alright, so first thing you'll notice is you have this first person camera. You can move around with ASDW as expected. Tab will toggle your uh, camera mode so that you now have a uh, more RTS like camera. This also goes for in game as well. So, um, getting started there are a number of modules that you can build your units out of um, there are the two armors uh, light and heavy uh, tracks are for movement they are uh, ground based movement archives are used to store blueprints and they allow your unit to build other units uh, repair modules allow you to repair other units and are also involved in building. Uh, carbon and hydrogen are resources that you mine. You probably don't want to use those blocks when you're uh, building. Carbon miner and the hydrogen miner are, uh, well they do what they say. Uh, there's a basic weapon. It does equal light and heavy damage. There's a thruster that's uh, uh, flying movement speed. A laser weapon that does uh, light damage and the ion collector and ion focus uh, are a two-part weapon system that does heavy damage <sighs> so we're gonna build a simple faction um, just three units we're gonna start with a uh, basic harvester so we're going to put down two tracks so it can move around two carbon miners and two hydrogen miners uh, this power level lets you scale the power of the blocks you place um, for now it defaults to one weird they look the same from the top All right. And we're going to save this as, uh, well, just minor. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to build a, a combat unit. I'm just going to call it ATT. Uh, okay. And again, we'll lay down a track. And we'll put some basic weapons on top. And that's that. That's pretty simple. I'm going to save that. And now we're going to build a base. Um, this will be a simple building that will build our other two units. So, we'll put down some repair modules. Archive. So, with the archive, you have to enter in the names of the units it's going to build. We want the miner. And we want ATT. <coughs> Now we place that, and we'll add a little light armor. We'll save that. Okay, and you can see the stats over here. We recommend building uh, cheaper things first so that you can build up more quickly in game. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the skirmishes. So. Uh, hitting single player or setting up a multiplayer game will take you to a lobby like this. Here's your starting unit field. 
it's where you put the name of the unit that you want to start with, I guess. Um, and this name can be just about anything. There are some presets. Uh, I'm going to add an AI. Uh, C1 is one of the presets. A1 and B1 are also presets. Uh, we have the precursor. Uh, not a lot of choice there right now. Um, that's basically your starting unit. And then this starting unit tells you what your precursor can build. And color and teams aren't implemented yet. So we're going to start. OK. So we've started. Uh, traditional view. Right click to move around. Right click to harvest resources. You can also use the. Um, harvest button and then left click on whatever the pathing is intentionally simple so don't order your unit off a cliff unless you mean to use it to your advantage so here we have our base uh, it takes 80 carbon and 60 hydrogen And the camera controls are exactly the same in-game as they are in the editor tab. will bring you into this first-person view. You can fly around, reposition your camera, hit tab again, and you're back in the RTS view. Okay, so let's build it. You'll notice the cursor turn red um, when you have a command or whatever. Uh, right clicking again can just dismiss that. Here we have our base. Being built. Doop do. Doop do. Um, units that are being built. Uh, once the module is completed, it's active, so this can actually, you can actually do some neat stuff with it. All right, and you'll see with the base selected, we can build our miner and our attack unit. Now, since this is a building, I don't need to place the miner. And there's a set build location, so you can tell it to build on the other side or whatever. Pretty simple. There's a miner finished. We'll build another miner. Oh, and it looks like our AI has gotten stuck on something. That's too bad. The AI is very primitive. Now we'll build an attack unit. And away we go. Um, you'll notice the cursor has this uh, weird offset thingy. Uh, scrolls with the mouse wheel. This is for flying units. Uh, flying units will move to the end of it. Non-flying units will move to the base. So you can tell flying units to go just about anywhere in 3D space. And I guess we'll just finish this guy off since he's not doing anything. And that's about it for the tutorial. 
Um, again, this is a very simple, uh, simple setup. So feel free to build larger and more complex th things. And again, you want to start small because all you have is that initial precursor to build your first unit. So, all right, well, I think that's it for this tutorial. There's your victory screen, your units. All right, thanks for watching.